Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shell Craft One and my old barn door. And I wanted to show you a journal um, that has been, it's been about a year, maybe even longer in the making. Um, it's, it's a sewing journal. This is one of the Better Homes and Gardens um, sewing books. Um, it's a five ring binder. And I have been working on this for a long, long, long time. And I just kind of lost my mojo with it. And it's been sitting on the shelf for about a year. And so um, I watched a video the other day. And, um, you know, I've been making a lot of farm style journals lately. And so I just kind of got a little burned out on them. And so I just had to switch to something else so that I could get uh, my mojo back from my farm journals so I can go back to those. So, you know, sometimes you just have to change it up and do something different. So that's what I did with this journal. And um, I s grabbed it out and started working on it and finally got it finished. And so I just wanted to do a quick flip through. This journal is currently in the shop, available for you guys to run over and grab it if you love it and if you want it. So if you see in this video, it's in the Etsy shop now. So go ahead and grab it if you want to. Um, while I'm thinking about it, if you will, click that subscribe button and hit that little notification bell. That does help my channel. And um, I would also appreciate it if you would like the video, if you like what you see um, after you watch through the end of the video. So, without further ado, um, again, this is one of the Better Homes and Gardens sewing books. And I love the cover, and I didn't want to do anything to the cover. I knew when I started this journal that I was going to leave the cover exactly as it is. It does show, you know, signs of aging, which to me adds to the character of the journal. Um, I love that. And then I made this um, sweet little dang dangly tassel um, with, uh-oh, I got one that fell off. I think I cut my, anyway, I'll fix that. But, um, yeah, sweet little dangle that goes on the journal. And I added it on with a clip because, you know, on the five ring binders, um, they have the little piece there that's kind of in the way for you to hang something. And so I like doing um, with the binders. And that way, when you get ready to journal in your book, you can just flip that up and it doesn't mess with the tassel at all. So um, here's the back of the journal. And this journal was in great, great, con or the book was in great condition when I found it. So I was super excited when I found it and I have been working on it, like I say, forever. Um, let me see which, um, I don't know if I have a copyright date on this one. I don't think this one had a copyright date because it was, oh yes it does. Okay, this one is, um, the latest copyright on it is 1970. This is, looks like the third printing. So um, we're just gonna get started. I, I didn't wanna, do anything with this cover because um you know that's part of the journal it's part of the book and i wanted to leave some of the originality to the book and i didn't want to put a pocket over it because i didn't want to cover it up because it's kind of a cool little sewing room scene so i just left it whoever gets it if you want to put a pocket there you're more than welcome to um, the rings are in great condition and it still has um, the plastic piece, I don't know if you can see that, but the plastic piece is down in there, and it's in great condition, too, so I left it. A lot of times, I'll cut that out if it's not in good condition. Um, so, here we go. Um, we'll just start with this. This is one of those pattern calendar um, pages. This is like a quilt block pattern, and then you have this. Um, this is actually came out of a Reader's Digest book, but I liked it because it had the ex libris on it. And you can put your name there or whatever and decorate the page. Um, this is one of the original pages from the book. And it still has the plastic sleeve. So I've just kind of left it. It seems to want to attach itself to that front page. So I just left it in there. Um, and even though this is, says contents or whatever, it's not a beautiful page. This is a great page to journal on. You can add paper to it or whatever. Now, this, this bad boy has <laughs> alligator mouth. So... But I've stuffed a lot of goodies in here for you to play with. That's what I always do, especially with my ring binder journals. Um, I stuff a lot of good stuff in here for you to play with in your journal. And so once you take all of the stuff out, you know, you won't have that. But at the bottom, hopefully you can see, um, I have added tons and tons of gorgeous laces at the bottom. 
and on the edges of some, the pages and then even at the top. I just wanted to add a lot of tactile stuff in here. I wanted it to be a lot of fabric, a lot of laces, just very pretty and very frilly. And so I've stuffed this pocket. This is an old, um, it was from an old sewing book. And so I stuffed it with some vintage, uh, vintage button card. This is one of those button envelopes and it has a button in there. Um, this is from my sewing digi kit. And so I tucked that in there. And then this is also from the sewing digi kit. And then I just added that vintage doily with the button and then the ribbon tape topper at the top. Okay, I love, you can definitely tell this was from the 70s. <laughs> I love all of these vintage things. Hang on just one second. Okay, there we go. Had to do something on my camera. Okay, and then this is um, just a piece of, this was from uh, Seven Gypsies Canvas Core. Um, and then I just folded it up and made a pocket um, in the back from it. This is one of those vintage name and address books. You know, the little bitty books that you could throw in your purse. And so I love the pages on those. Those are super cute to journal on. Um, and then I made a little journaling card here. Uh, it's got the lines on the back for you to journal on. This was an old um, ad or an old, um, it, from like a, it's a copy from like an instruction book on how to make an afghan and I love how the, the little lady who owned this um, wrote her name on there or she wrote somebody else's name I'm not sure which but you can tell it's a copy because it has the flowers in the background but I just thought it was cool so I just added that in there and then this is one of the little thread spools from my sewing digi kit as well so let me get all of these tucked back in here have some washi tape on some of them. And then I've had these forever. Um, I think they're called Jolene's or Jolie's Boutique maybe. And um, I've been saving these for this journal forever and ever. And so I'm so glad that I finally got to finish it. And then here I made a pocket out of um, one of the wrappers from some old synth, um, seam binding. And, and then you have one of the tags from my Sew and Digi Kit. This comes from the Sew and Digi Kit as well. And then you have just a little flower cut out here. And then this is a little tag that opens up. You can journal inside. It's got the little um, seam binders, dress rack, or whatever you want to call that um, on there. So let me see if I can get these back in here the way I had them. I probably won't be able to, but we'll try. <laughs> Oh well, okay, we'll just do it like that. And then you have, these are some vintage um, sewing pattern envelopes that I had. And so I put a little lace or crocheted lace on the edge there. And I put a um, large size tag that I decoupaged a napkin on um, down in there for you. And you can use this little envelope for, I mean, there's plenty of room on it. So you can put all kinds of goodies in there. And you have this, um, can't remember what paper pack this was from. I think maybe Authentique, but it was in a, it was like sewing themed, and I loved the pink florals, and I thought it went well in this journal. Um, on this page, I've just um, put one of my little cluster strips on there and, and a couple of little paint chips for you to play with in your journal and um, alter. And then here, let me see if this folds out. I love this. This is some of my seven gypsies paper and then inside the pocket you just have a little floral journaling card and then this is um, some it's actually called decoupage paper it's from DCWV and it comes in a in a roll kind of like wrapping paper um, but, and you can use it you can use it for wrapping paper you can use it for decoupage or collage or whatever so I thought that was pretty paper to add in there again some more of those little um, embellishments from Jolie's boutique, I think it is. Um, this is a vintage, this uh, or from a vintage Coates and Clark um, little booklet um, that I've had forever. And I was looking to see if there was a copyright date on it, but I don't see one. But you can tell it's very vintage. And then you have the little um, sewing pattern ruffle here. These are some of the original pages from the sewing book. Um, and then I left all of the um, what do you call these? File tab, file folder tabs or whatever 
tab folders, tab pages. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't find my words. <laughs> Y'all know what this is. I left them all. <laughs> and then at the bottom of most of them, I have some kind of really, really pretty lace stitched on there. So, um, it's either stitched or glued, but I tried to do a lot of sewing in this book because it is a sewing journal. Then I've got you some lined pages here for journaling. I have a um, quilt pocket um, quilt heart. It was cut out of a vintage quilt, and I made a pocket out of it. Add the little button there, and then a little booklet that I made from my handmade paper. And so I just added some extra little pieces in there for you to journal on. So it's just a little booklet tucked in to that little heart quilt pocket. I love that. Some more of the original pages from the book. I picked, there. I loved a lot of the pages that were in the original book. I just love the colors um, and the art that they use or the graphics um, but from that, from the 70s, the 60s and 70s. So um, this is uh, another one of those pieces that came from that sewing paper pack, I, honestly, I think, oh, it's Kaiser Craft, yeah, so you got you some little extra snippets in here from the pack, so it's a Kaiser Craft um, pack, and so inside here you have one of those vintage dividers, and then this is from my sewing um, digi as well, and then it flips out, you have some vintage, um, like, calendar pages, um, I think this was maybe like a time, like it kept up with somebody's time, like when they went to work, and it just folds out, so it's a quite a large sheet there. Doily there. Sorry, you guys can't see well. I tried to adjust the camera, but I can only go so far up, so before I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> so this was like a little um, cross stitch envelope thing. It's hot iron transfers. And it has the actual patterns on the inside, which I think are super, super cool. I'll see if I can fold it out and let you see it. I'm not going to fold it all the way out, but there it is for to somewhat. So I just think those are really, really cool. Those would be fun to cut them out and use them as pages, um, you know, to journal on or whatever. But I just wanted to leave that in there for you. This is some vintage ledger paper. I think it was from the 60s. Um, so like kind of like an accounting page and it's blank on the back side some more of the original pages and whoever owned the book had written her little notes in pencil in there and then this is um, another piece from the seven gypsies collection that I've been hoarding forever I love 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 this side of the page and I think it's perfect um, for a selling journal and then this is another old piece from a little pamphlet type booklet. And then I just stuffed you some extra little pieces and goodies in this pocket for you to play with in the journal. So again, once you empty those out, um, you know, give you a little more room. You have the little lace here. Some of these, um, I put the lace at the top and some I put them, put it at the bottom. Here you have a fabric and lace flip. So you have this really, really pretty lace here. And then the fabric flip. And underneath is one of the original book pages. But it just had writing on it. And so I thought you could put some lined paper or some coffee dyed paper down there. And you would be able to do some journaling in behind there. Um, but I used the page because I loved the colors. And I love the patterns that they use here. This is some more from that Kaiser Craft um, paper pack. And so it folds open. You have the cute little stickers and one of my little collage strips. This is some vintage ledger paper or um, graph paper. And then this is, this is one of the vintage, you know, the little um, things that come in the center of like a magazine or whatever. And so this was in one of the magazines, one of the sewing magazines. And so I used it as an envelope in the journal. And you have some journaling cards here from my Sewing Digi kit in that pocket. Some more of the original book pages. You have this really pretty lace here. And then, see if I can slide it up where you can see it. This really pretty lace here. 
And then some more of those little Jolene or Jolie's Boutique. I can't remember which it is. More original book pages. And then um, I made a pocket. This one folds out. I made a pocket out of these hook and eye and loops. Hook, hooks, eyes, and loops. But it's very vintage, and I love the way it looks. So I made a pocket with it. And then you have um, a tag here from my Sew and Digi kit. These are some of those um, dot matrix little labels. And then this I found in a book or something, but um, it's a stole pattern, and it's handwritten by some sweet lady who was doing her sewing. I'm sorry if this is blurry. Hopefully it's not. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Sorry about that. But anyways, I just wanted to add that in there because I love finding handwritten stuff by sweet little ladies like that. And then this was um, in a big, huge envelope, a uh, big, huge sewing pattern envelope, and it was called Folkware. And so it folds all the way out this way, and then if you flip it over, it folds all the way out this way, and then you have the little fold here. So um, I've left quite a bit of it in there for you to play with in your journal. Um, you can journal over it. You can, you know, use it for collage. You can use it as a pocket. Lots of different things you can do with it, but it's good thick paper, so... I love that. And then you have a vintage um, bag here, and inside I put you some sewing pattern pieces and some vintage wallpaper for you to play with in your journal. So you have that. Some more lace down here at the bottom. I'm sorry, I'm having to slide it back and forth, but it's it's just because I can't get my camera at the right angle. Okay, and then you have um, one of my pockets here. This is um. My friend Sarah from Me and My Son's Treasures um, sends me these snippet rolls, and I use them in pretty much every journal that I make, and so that's where I got that. Not sure if her shop is still on vacation or not. You can run over and check if you want to find some of these, because I know she was making some more. And you have a little envelope here with just a little teeny tiny piece of lined paper for journaling, and then a couple of journaling cards um, in there. I love this. Um, my sweet friend Eve from, um, she's Eve in Wonderland on YouTube and she's the snippet shop on Etsy. And she has wonderful, wonderful, wonderful vintage items and this is, she sent me this as a gift and I, I've absolutely loved, um, using these in my journals and she sent me several different patterns cluster there. This folds open. Another one of the Seven Gypsies pages. We have um, all of these came from my sewing journal or my sewing digi kit that's in my shop. Just some journal cards, a little library card, and then this cool little piece here. Some lined paper. Some more of the original book pages. <coughs> Excuse me. And then this one has lace at the bottom here. Pretty little laces. I love all the laces. And, and with them all together, it just looks so frilly. And then some more from that. Um, I don't know if you can see the sewing patterns that are in the background. But I love this paper. I think it's very pretty. And then I made a pocket out of this little snaps card. And I put you some extra goodies from, I had printed some stuff out from the sewing digital kit that I have in my shop. And um, that was an extra piece that I had. So I thought this came from the sewing digi in my shop as well. And I just made a little tag out of it. Super, super cute. Little music page. What to get done so I can have a drink. I just thought that was hilarious. So I added it in because it's kind of like a little to-do list lace on the edge there. I love, love, love all the laces added in. I'm going to flip a little quicker so that the video is not so long. Love this paper. This is some of my favorite. And then you have a belly band here. I didn't put anything in there because it just started filling up so fast. This is from another vintage um, cross stitch little pamphlet book by Coates and Clark. And then another one of those sewing patterns. Uh, calendar pages. 
I love, love, love the fabric dictionary in this journal. So I added all of those pages in. It was just three pages. Um, but I just think I love all the colors and I just thought they were pretty. This is some vintage lined paper. And then this was like a, a hand topped little instruction sheet on, um, I guess, how to cross stitch a calico cat. I'm not real sure if it's cross stitch or, um, I don't know. Yep, it's cross stitch. So <laughs> I added that in. Love, love, love this page from the Kaiser Craft Paper Pack. And then here in this pocket, I just folded it over again and made a pocket. And you have um, a vintage, one of those, like the pocket that I made in the front of the journal. So I'll put you extra one of those in there. This is um, a very large vintage ad from a magazine from, I think, the 50s. And so I just wanted to share that so you could play with it in your journal. Um, and then this was a cross stitch piece that I had found. Um, in a, I guess, um, a, a thrift store somewhere. But I just thought it was so pretty. And so I thought it would be really cool if you wanted to use it to make a pocket in your journal or even a fabric flip in your journal. So I added that in. Another one of the sewing bobbins or sewing, yeah, uh, thread. Oh my gosh, a spool. What is wrong with my brain today? <laughs> It's a spool! Holy crow! And then a little flower die cut. Wow! <laughs> and then you have the little, um, I used this, the, some of the sewing pattern and just kind of crinkled it up and stitched it on. And added the little flower there for decoration on that tab divider. Oh my goodness, I finally figured out what the word was. <laughs> and then you have the little ruffle down here on the bottom. Wow, I don't know what is wrong with my brain today. It doesn't want to think. And this is vintage ledger paper from 1912. And so I just wanted to add some fun vintage items in here. This is also vintage. It was um, an envelope, I believe, for a sewing pattern. And so I just cut it down so that it fit in. So this is the back, or I guess the inside of the envelope. And then here was some hand-topped knitting instructions. Um, for a scrap cap is what it says, but I just thought it was cool. So I stitched it into a pocket and Here's where I added a bunch of extra pieces of the papers that I used in the journal so you can have some goodies to play with um, in the journal and then You have the doily stitched on up here Again, I love this page with all the colors from the original book and then another one of those calendar pages with the quilt patterns. This is another one of those pages from that really cool um, vintage magazine. Some more of the lace there. And again, this was the coat fabrics from Animals, but I like the colors, so I left that page in. This is like some kind of a schematics page, but it's on like really thin. Not super, super thin, not as thin as tracing paper, but it's just really cool paper. And I thought it would be cool to go in here. Another sewing pattern envelope that I made into a pocket for you and put you some goodies down in there for you to play with in your journal. Again, some more lace at the bottom. You get lots of, uh, lots and lots of laces with this journal. <laughs> and these, I think, are my favorite pages in the book. Um, these are original pages from the book and how pretty are they with all the colors that they added in here for making the children's clothes. So I wanted to leave these in the journal. And then this folds open. You have another one of those snippet pockets. And then these are a little tag and a couple of journaling cards from my Sew and Digi kit in my shop. Some more beautiful lace down here at the bottom. And some washi tape there. And then I made another pocket out of one of those snap things and I put another tag from my sew and digi kit and then this is another one of those little um like from the seam binding but um I love the back side of it this would make the cutest tag to me so I thought I would put it in here so you can play with it in your journal some more of the gorgeous pages from the original book some lined papers 
And then these pages. I love, love, love these pages from this book. I love this sewing book. Oh, I absolutely love it. And then some more of this really pretty paper um, from, I think it's Kaiser Craft. And then I just stuffed it in here with some goodies for you. This is um, like a photo sleeve, but you can actually add it into the journal um, and use it for pockets or whatever. And I put you some little fabric scraps in there, a couple of journaling cards, and then just some little pieces to play with in your journal. And then again, some more of that pretty trim at the bottom of this one. Some more of the original book pages, music page. And then I had to kind of not put anything else because it was getting so fat. But I did want to add in these original pages from the book as well because I just thought they were so pretty and so colorful. And then this was the little cardboard piece um, that they put into the back of the book. And so it was really dingy looking. And so I covered it with some vintage wallpaper just to make it look pretty. And then in the back here, you have a pocket made from a vintage quilt. And I just cut a piece out, stitched around the edges, and added the lace at the top. And I have this pocket absolutely stuffed full of goodies for you to play with in the journal. I, um, another one of those vintage hooks, eyes, and loops cards. I mean, look how old that is. I love, love, love these. And then an old seam tape um, container. And um, I thought it would be really cool if you wanted to fold it out and make a pocket out of that. And then you could have the little windows in there. So I thought that would be a fun little item to play with in your journal. And some extras of the prints from my Digi Kit that I didn't use. Then a little piece from a vintage magazine. Some extra of the paper that I used on the back cover. And then this, this is the envelope that that large um, pattern piece was in. And um, I was originally going to use it in the journal, but I just kind of ran out of room. And so I thought I would put it in this back pocket so that, you know, if whoever gets the journal, if they want to, once they empty all the goodies out, um, they can add that into the journal to play with. So that is my vintage sewing book um, journal. And again, it will be in the shop when you see this video. So run over and grab it if you love it. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for being patient with me. I know I haven't put out a lot of videos lately. It's just been crazy at my house. I've had a lot of stuff going on, and hopefully I can get back into the groove of things really soon here. Um, I do have some consignment journals coming soon as well. So y'all bear with me. Thanks for loving on me and being patient with me, and um, I'll see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching. Big hugs.